Truly, I thank God for this story on today. Yes. I thank God because some, so many times when you really are after God's own heart, you have to be obedient to what thus says the Lord. Amen. And a lot of times, amen, and I know I can speak for minister, yes. you know, those that speak what God tells you to speak, amen. It might not be so soothing to the people flesh, but it's about soul saving, amen. 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 Praise God. Yes. And if we just get back to preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, yes. bringing people yes. in that their souls will be saved, uh -huh. what a day of rejoicing it will be. Praise God. But we got so much sugar coating going on now, yes. mm. so much hollering and, and jumping and uh -huh. hooping over the word of God, that people are not getting to know God in a real way. Mm. Amen. Mm. So two weeks ago, mm. as I was before God, just seeking his face, and he began to deal with me about this message is coming up today. Amen. If you have your Bibles, let's turn to Joshua, the seventh chapter. Uh -huh. Joshua 7. Going to skip around a little bit. Joshua 7, verses 7 through 12. And then I'm going to skip down and go through verses 19 through 26. So we'll be reading in chap Joshua chapter 7, verses 7 through 12. And then I'm going to skip down and go from verses 19 through 26. People of God, there's a battle going on. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. There is something going on in the atmosphere. Yes, Lord. And we as Christians, amen, ought to know that if we're with God, God going to expose everything that's not right in our lives. Amen. Amen. God began to deal with me about us as his people. Uh -huh. He said, you are my people. But he said, but you're not humbling yourself. Uh -huh. You're not turning from your wicked ways that I'll come in and heal your land. Yeah. You're constantly crying to me and asking me, Lord, deliver. Lord, show me, open up my eyes. But when he began to bring deliverance, you reject him. Uh -huh. When he began to open up your eyes, you close your eyes even tighter. Uh -huh. So we're going to begin to talk about the sin at Ai. Amen. How the children of Israel once again was disobedient to what thus says the Lord. Uh -huh. If I can use for a topic or subject in your hearing today will be mess in the camp. Mm. Hey, mess in the camp. Uh -huh. Clean it up. Praise God. That's what God is saying today. There is mess in our camps. And yes. we better clean it up. God Amen. is not going to come and clean it up. Nobody else is not responsible for cleaning up. You better clean it up. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Because if you don't, we're going to read by and by what's going to happen to these people. Glory Amen. to God. We have played church too long. Amen. We have allowed ourselves to believe that lie. As Galatians said, oh foolish Galatians, uh -huh. who has bewitched you to believe such a lie that our God is compromising to our mess? Well, I'm here to tell you today, if I be a child of God, that God does not compromise to with our mess. Amen. I don't care how big you think you are. I don't care how small you think you are. Yes. It's time to get that mess out the camp, glory to God. Amen. That God can come in and do what he want to do in us. It's time not for acting and pretending and faking and quaking, but it's time for us to be about our father's business. This is not about winning cars and houses and land. This is about winning souls, glory Amen. to God. Amen. And the word of God told us that he who wins souls is very wise. Amen. And we have become dumb to the fact that we don't realize that God is soon on his way back. Yes. If you don't think so, you turn around and look at this earth right now. Uh -huh. The earth is turned up upside down. As the, as the old says, it's turned on its axles, glory to God. Uh -huh. It's no longer level. Everything that used to be good is now being called evil. Uh -huh. And everything that is evil is now being called good. Amen. But there's Amen. mess in the camp. Yes. You wonder why everything that you used to have, you don't have it no more. Uh -huh. You wonder why things are not coming together for your good. Or we quote the scripture yeah. that we know that all things work together for the good uh -huh. to those who are in Christ Jesus, uh -huh. that those who are called according to his purpose. We quote that scripture, but somehow, Sister Tabitha, those things are not coming together for us. And uh -huh. I'm going to let you know why, because there's mess in the camp. Yeah. Let's go to the word of God. Don't let me get ahead of myself. Let's go to the word of God, because now, here 
here it is, Joshua trying to figure out what is going on. God, you told us that you were going to do these things for us, amen. And, and why is it that we are being defeated, amen, by these people when we've done what you told us to do? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But what Joshua didn't know was that there was mess in the camp, uh -huh. praise God. Amen. Joshua thought that God had turned his back and was not going to perform what God told him uh -huh. that he was going to perform. Uh -huh. Joshua didn't know that all that time, every, although he might have done what was right, there was somebody in the camp was doing wrong. Oh, Praise amen. God. Amen. Let's go ahead and read amen. it. Let's, go. Let's read amen. it. says, And Joshua said, Elias, O Lord God, wherefore hast thou at all brought this people over Jordan to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us? Would to God, we have been content and dwell on the other side of Jordan. Here is Joshua praying to God, asking God, what is going on, Father? Wouldn't it have been just better for us to stay on the other side of Jordan? Did you bring us over here to deliver us in the hands of the Amorites? And verse 8 says, oh Lord, what shall I say when Israel turned their backs before their enemies? Mm. My God, mm. for the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear of it and shall environ, environ us around and cut off us, our name, glory to God, from, from the earth. And what will thou do unto thy great name? Here is Joshua saying, God, if, if, what am I supposed to say if Israel want to turn their back? Now that I told them that you're going to bring us into this wealthy land. Now that I told them that you're going to deliver us. But now it looks like the Amorites are overtaking us. Joshua's having a conversation with God. I don't know about you, but many times, amen, uh -huh. when things started not adding up in my life, I started having a conversation with God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God. I started asking God, God, show me what is going on in my life. Show me, God, what is going to take place, amen. And every time I ask God, he would Begin to show me where the mess at was in my camp. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. Praise God. Amen. Mm, Holy Spirit. I, 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 I'm not going to apologize for this not being a mess that you can jump up and run around and hoop and holler. Glory to God. Praise God. And verse 11 says, I mean, verse 10 says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up. Wherefore lies thou this upon thy face? He said, Why are you laying down, Joshua? Get up. Verse 11 said, Israel have sinned, uh -huh. and they have also transgressed my covenant, uh -huh. which I command them. For they have taken of the accursed thing, mm -hmm. and have also stolen, and this, this symbol also. Uh -huh. And they have put it even among their own stuff. Uh -huh. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their back before their enemies, because they were accursed. Neither will I be with you anymore, except you destroy the accursed from among you. Amen. Here is God saying to us, yeah. glory to God, get up. There's no use you keep coming praying to me about the same old thing over and over and over again when you continue to have the cursed things in your camp. Clean this mess up out of this camp. Clean it up. There's no use of you keep going day in and day out asking me, God, what is going on when I'm telling you there's something in your camp that's not of me. Yeah, and I want you to get uprooted. Go look for it. And get rid of it. Destroy it. Because if you don't, it's going to destroy you. Yeah, Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. I remember one time I asked God to show me what was going on. Amen. And when God began to show me, I tried to act like I didn't see. Amen. Uh -huh. Glory to God. What uh -huh. he was showing me. Praise God. And that thing got worse and worse and worse until I admit to myself that, hey, this stuff got to get up out of here, glory yes. God. It no longer can rest rule and abide in my home, amen. praise amen. God. Amen. It's got to go. Yes, amen. Mess in the camp. Yes, amen. Oh, what camp is God talking about? Oh, glory to God. He's talking about his camp, glory to God. That these buildings that we put up and we say these houses of God. Uh -huh. There's so much mess in the camp now. Anything go. God said you have touched your cursed things. You have allowed money to rule over, amen, the yeah. spirit of God. Uh -huh. You have allowed yourself going home out of uh -huh. other strange gods. Uh -huh. Get that mess up out of the camp. Uh -huh. You thought it was going to work together for your good, but no, it's not working together for uh -huh. your good. That's why, glory to God, when I told you to go left, you went right. And that's why things are not right in your life. He uh -huh. said, Get the mess up out of your camp. Praise God. Amen. Clean it up. Clean it up. Yes. Amen. Praise God Almighty. Glory to God. It is time to clean it up now. Yes, it is. We don't play in church too long. Yes, we don't play with God too long. Yes, Even some of our camps are our own personal business. Glory yes, to God. Yes, we don't yes. allow the enemy to creep in and uh -huh. tell us, you know what? There ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh -huh. Don't do that right there. Oh, you know what? You should be doing this. I, I, you know, I know what God said, but look, do it this way right here. You got to get that mess up out your camp because if you don't trust and believe, it will destroy you. Glory yes, to God. Amen. Yes, amen. Yes. Praise God. Yes, amen. The thing is about 
about the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Lisa. Uh -huh. Thank you for your word. Instead, it's talking to the children of God. Thank you for your word. Father. Amen. Mm. It's not talking to the ones that has not come into knowledge of him, uh -huh. but it's talking to the ones that came into the knowledge. You know, us that say holy, holy to the Lord God Almighty. The ones that, you know, let's bring it in 2018. The ones that say, won't he do it? Those are the ones God's talking to, glory uh -huh. to God. It's time to get the mess about the count. You cannot, glory to God, the word of God told me clearly, good and evil shall not proceed out the same Amen. mouth. It ought Amen. not to be so. Amen. Glory to God. But here we are in the church. We will cuss you like it ain't nobody. And we will curse you with our tongue like it ain't nobody. We will swear with our mouth like it ain't nobody. And the word of God said, these things ought not to be so. Mess in the camp. I ain't going over there to that church because, honey, all I want to do is talk about this and talk about that. I need to hear somebody tell me about my, my situation. It's going to get better. Yeah, it's going to get better when you get the mess up out your family. Amen. 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 That's right. Praise God. That's right. You know that's not your husband. You better leave him alone. Amen. You know that's not your wife. You better Amen. leave her alone. Amen. Love God. Because God is not playing no more. Praise Amen. God. You know that you're not supposed to go over there getting that kind of money. You better leave it alone. Amen. You know you're not supposed to be over there. You better get your behind with out of that avenue because God said it's messing the count and it's time to clean it up. Glory to God. Praise God Almighty. Thank you, Father. He told Joshua, he said, the children of Israel have sinned once again before me. They have touched the accursed things. See, if you know anything about this uh, uh, story, and if you don't, I'll give you a little inkling. God has sent Joshua and the children of Israel in the count on the Amorites, and he told them, he said, listen, when you go in here, they got some nice stuff now. This is going to help somebody. Mm -hmm. See, they had the nice gold and the nice silver, Amen. the nice pottery. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't care how good it looks, Sister Tasha. I don't care how good it shines. Mm -hmm. Don't y'all touch none of it. Yeah. Destroy every bit of it. Yeah. Glory to God. But you know us as human. God said, listen, I want everything uprooted. And when we see that thing that look good, we say, well, surely God ain't talking about that. Uh -huh. Surely God ain't talking about uh -huh. him. Yeah. Surely God ain't talking about her. Surely God ain't talking about this job. Surely God ain't talking about this right here. He said, destroy all of it. Well, a couple of them took amongst themselves to say, well, mm -mm. uh uh. This gold look too good. This silver look too good. We'll just take a little bit of it and store it in our bags, and nobody won't know. You know, that's the mind game we try to play with God. Oh, for some reason, we say you're all knowing God, but when we're going to do our mess, for some reason, we make him blind. Come on, and give God a He's an all seeing God, brother Jeremy, but until we're going to do our mess, and all of a sudden, he's blind. So they said, we're hiding. We won't tell Joshua. Yeah. But one thing about it, glory to God, oh, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have you can hide from man, but you can't hide from God. Glory Come on, God. man. Oh, you hid it from Joshua, but uh -huh. you couldn't hide it from the true and living God. Oh, yeah. You might hide it from someone oh. else, but you can't hide it from the true and living God. That's why a lot of times, glory to God, as a woman of God, I look at certain people, I say, well, God, they was up on here, and they were doing so well. What happened to them, God? Yes. I see them come to church. I see them pray their tithes and all. Uh -huh. I see them doing what's well. But God said, what you don't see is that he it's that mess in the camp that God wants us to clear up, glory to God. Some of us are attached to accursed things. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 We got the habit, Sister Lisa. Mm -hmm. And we attach ourselves to the cursed things, and then we are the same mouth we tell God to bless it. God's, mm -mm. I'm not blessing cursed things. Amen. 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 He said, I don't dwell in unclean temples. Amen. Praise God, Deacon. He said, I don't do that. Amen. He said, y'all do it, but I don't do it. Amen. Glory to God. What's, what's evil in God's eyesight is evil in God's eyesight. Yes. Yes. See, yes. we can look at something and say, you know that ain't good, but instead of going towards it. Yes, Lord. But not God. Not God. He's telling Joshua they did what they're not supposed to do. That's why they have to turn their backs on their enemies. That's why they can't face their enemies. And destroy the enemy's head on. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm no longer with them. Amen. And let me tell you something. The Bible says it's very dangerous. Yes. To fall in the hands of an angry God. Yes. Glory to God. I'd rather for a man to get mad Amen. with me. Mm -hmm. Brother Jeremy, I'd rather Amen. for a man go out and say, oh, she ain't this and she ain't that. Uh -huh. I ain't fooling with her no more. Uh -huh. Then God saying, you know what? I'm say. not fooling with her no more. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Mess in the camp. It's time for us to uproot it. Some of us got, uh, our campus, our hearts. Uh -huh. 
We still got envy mm. and malice mm. and unforgiveness yeah. and strife in our hearts. Mm. And we're trying to sing over it. We're trying to dance over it. Yeah. We're trying to preach over it. Uh -huh. We're trying to go and testify over it. But yeah. God said, no, I want to go in that heart. He told us over at glory to God in Isaiah, glory to God. He said, listen, I'm going to pour out that stony yeah, heart. Stony heart. Uh -huh. And I'm going to give you a heart of flesh, glory yeah. to God. I'm going to create in you a new heart. Uh -huh. Amen. So yes. we got to go inside our, our, our heart, our camp called heart, and say, God, what's in there is not of you. Yes. yes. It's doubt in there. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Take Do I have unforgiveness? Take it out, God. Uprooted, God. I don't want to just lay there and I yeah. keep pretending year after year, month after month, with the same old mess in my heart. Get rid of it, Father. Yeah. I don't want it no more. No more. Let's go on and read a little further. Yes. Dropping down, glory to God, to verse 19. Amen, if you will. And it reads, praise God. And Joshua said unto Achan, my son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, mm. and make confession yes. unto him, and tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. Mm. Here is Joshua talking to, glory to God, Achan. He said, listen, Achan. See, he done went through everybody. Uh -huh, Amen. Uh -huh. If you go up to the other scriptures, you'll see that he went through everybody camp. Uh -huh. And he began to require them, what did you do? Uh -huh. What did you do? Mm -hmm. Then it comes to Akon, he said, my son, what did you do? That's what God is saying to us. What did you do? What did you do? Amen. What did you do? Amen. Am I not the same God that you praised last time when you was in your situation yes. and I brought yes. you out? Yes. What did Amen. you do? Amen. Why did you go in that cursed thing to think that that was going to help you come out? Mm. What did you do, my child? Amen. Why did you turn your back off of me? Yes. Why did you decide that this thing would help you better than me? What tempted you so much that you felt like you were run to that? Mm. Yeah. Joshua asked the Akon, what did you do? What did you do? Mm. Let's read. Mm. Verse 20 says, And Akon answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus and thus have I done. Mm -hmm. When I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonian garment and 200 shekels of silver, and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weight. Then I covered them and took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth and in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. Uh -huh. mm. mm. Akon said, listen, what I did was, when I seen that beautiful garment of the Babylonians, uh -huh. when I seen that silver, and when I seen that gold, I, I just couldn't help myself. I, I said I'd go ahead and, and get me a little bit for myself. Uh -huh. Amen. But how many of us know that the Bible says a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Praise uh -huh. God. Uh, God, I, 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 I didn't think it would be a problem since I didn't take it all. I just took a little bit of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Praise God. Mm. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I, I didn't do as worse as I could have done. You know how we compromise with God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It could have been worse, Father. At least that ain't worse than so and so. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Yes, you 
Praise God. Amen. A lot of you might say, well, you know what? I still got my house, and I still got my car, mm -hmm. and I still got my mate, and I still mm -hmm. got my job, and everything's still looking good. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, people of God, yes. don't let Satan do you again like yes. you did in the Garden yes. of Eden. Amen. Adam and Eve were still in the Garden of Eden when he's tricked them. Yes. They still had the same trees. The same animals. Amen. 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 They still was in that garden when he tricked them. They only got cast out after they let the mist come in the camp. Amen. 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 A lot of us trying to connect ourselves to people that's not right. Amen. The Bible told us about that. That's right. He said, how can two walk together except they agree? Amen. What do light and dark have to do with each other? Nothing. Amen. And we're steady saying, you know what, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. But yet and still, your heart is breaking. Mm -hmm. The thing that you thought that would come together is not coming together because the mess is in the camp. Amen. It is time to clean it up. Sister Trees, get me Romans 8, mm -hmm. verses 38 through 39. I'll hold it for me for a minute. Mm -hmm. God is speaking to us today to say, get this mess up out your camp. Pastors need to go back through their church uh -huh. and start purging it like never before. Bring all that material, worldly stuff that we don't let bring up in the church and start cleaning out. I know you might not like what I'm saying, but you know what? I'd rather clean out my church and have two or three than to have a bunch of people and we all busting hell wide open. Amen. 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 I'd Amen. rather. Amen. It's a song, glory to God, says I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. We so caught up now in this material side of this life till we have lost the anointing that God has in our life. There's a lot of anointed vessels has lost their anointing because they decide I'd rather have silver and gold. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'd rather be a people pleaser, Sister Tasha, yeah. than to please God. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'd rather hold on to my mess, even though it might destroy me, I'd rather hold on to my mess. Amen. Amen. Than to be obedient to God. Amen. But the word of God warned us about this. Mm -hmm. In Romans 8, Sister Latrice, Verse 38, glory to God. Those of you that want to go with Sister Latrice, Amen. Romans 8 and 38, verse 38 and 39. Glory to God. Come on and read it for us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other mm. creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, oh. which is in Christ Jesus Amen. our Lord. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. Lord. Here it is, Paul said, listen, I am persuaded. Amen. This is the problem with us people of God. We are not persuaded anymore. We're persuaded with every wind and doctrine, uh -huh. but we're not persuaded that we should stay to God, and we know that God will not leave us Amen. nor forsake Amen. us. That the only thing that we do for God is going to last. We're not persuaded by that, but we're persuaded by the get rich schemes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We're persuaded, Amen, Amen, by the people that come and tell us lies upon lies. Yes. We're persuaded, Amen, by human love instead of God's love. Praise Amen. God. Amen. The only love that covers a multitude of sin. But Paul is saying here, I am persuaded. Mm -hmm. That neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Nothing. I am persuaded that if I do what God told me to do and get this mess up out my camp, that nothing will separate me from the love of God. Amen. I am persuaded. Amen. 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 It's time for us to get back church, amen, the way we're supposed to be. The old people used to sing a song, get right church and let's go home. There's a reason why they sung that song, Sister yeah. Latrice, because it was mess in the camp, amen. And they said, listen, we're not going to make heaven our home as long as we keep mess in the camp, glory to God. It's time to uproot mess in the camp. Some of us need to go home. Mm -hmm. Amen. My, my, my. Good God, the world say do spring cleaning. Uh -huh. But I'm telling some of you need to go home and do some spiritual cleaning. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 You need to go and get rid of everything. Yes, yes. That's a curse. Yes. Amen. 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 You bought that curse thing in the home. Mm. And some of the cursed things don't even want to be there. Amen. But you're going to keep it there. You're going to make it be there. Uh -huh. You're going to stay here. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Because I know if I just keep fasting. Mm. And I keep praying, <laughs> and I keep coming to church, uh -huh. and I keep telling God how good He is. That first thing is going to be a blessing, but yeah, not yeah. so because when God told Balaam, He said, "Listen, listen, what I curse, no man can bless, and what I bless, no man can curse." Amen. So you need to just not fast, eat. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. You might as well stop praying, sleep, 
Yes. Amen. Yes. yes, Lord. If God already cursed it. <laughs> but what you can do is get the mess up out the camp. Yes, Lord. Clean it up. Yes. It's time for a revival to hit this land, people of God. Yes. Amen. 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 It's time for us to really feel the power of God yes. like we haven't felt the power of God in a long time. Amen. And not because the power has lost its power. It's because we have rejected it. Yes. Amen. 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 It's time to uproot those accursed things. Akon had to go ahead and confess. It was me. I did it. I thought it looked good. Uh -huh. I, I couldn't see us just burning this good stuff, God. Uh -huh. I couldn't see me just getting rid of that. Yes. Why couldn't you? Amen. Why couldn't you? It's no use of crying out to God when God don't told you to stop doing certain things, putting certain things in your body. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the doctor to find out that you got a bad disease, mm -hmm. a sickness, an illness. God told you, stop it. Stop it. Don't put it in there. Right. Amen. amen. There's no use of you, amen, feeling like, well, you know, I'm about to lose my mind. I just don't know what's going on. I can't really sleep at night. It just seems like the more I try, the worse it gets. God told you, let it go. Let it go. Let stop it. it. Come on now, it's the true people of God. Yeah. I'm not his only child yes. that, that challenged him at a point of time. Amen. Come on now, no I'm not God. the only one. I know I'm not the only one. Okay, I hope the holy y'all think y'all are. I'm not the only one to challenge him, Sister Latrice. Amen. Praise the Lord. When he said it's not yours, and I said, mm, I think it is. Amen. It's mine. <laughs> when he said, don't go through that door, I said, well, the door's open. Mm. <laughs> Surely it must mean for me to go through it. No. I'm not the only one. Sure? But I am one that would tell you, go and do it. Have it your way. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, have it your way. I am one that's not going to go run after you to stop you from doing it your way. Amen. For one, I'm not in that good of a shape. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on now. Amen. But I'm telling you, when you have it your way, mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Boy, 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 it's a price to pay. It is. Amen. 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 It's a price to pay Amen. for having it your way. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And it, ain't, it don't feel good. Amen. Don't feel good at all. Amen. When God is telling you to do something and you decide to do it your way, yeah. don't you think for one second you won't come and shake up them valley grounds and should be because yes, it will. Yes, yes it will. Yeah. I'll be his witness. I know a lot of people like to talk about how God bless you with all this money and mm -hmm. how he bless you with all this houses and yeah. all this stuff. But I'm going to tell you how God got me when I was disobedient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he spoke that quiet little voice, voice, you know how some of y'all say, well, I ain't hearing from God when you got a conscience. He uh -huh. gave you that. You know what they say? You know what? You know you're doing wrong. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You know you know this ain't right. Amen. What about God's stuff? You taking care of your stuff. Yes. What about God's stuff? Yes. He had a warn us about that, sister. She said, I have a problem with that. Uh -huh. He told us that. Amen. He said, I have a problem with that. Over in the book of Amos, he said, you all take care of y'all in the concealed houses. Uh-huh. But you let the house of God go lacking. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Amen. He warned us about that. Mm -hmm. sure See, nowadays we, we think the sin is uh fornicating and you know, adultery and yeah. you know, drink oh, drink it to your stupor and mm -hmm. you know, all of you know, as we we as humans, what I hear myself say, big sins. Mm -hmm. When the word of God let us know sin, sin. Uh -huh. But sin is when you're not being obedient to God. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. For the word of God said obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah, exactly. And disobedience is as the sin of witchcraft. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. A lot of us walking around here operating in witchcraft. Amen. Because you won't let it go. You won't do it the way God told you to do it. Yes. You think God come and talk to you just so he just uh, need to hear his voice? No. No. You think he come and talk to us and give us warning because he's so lonely? He said, well, I'm just going down here and get Andrew warning. No. He do it because he loves us. And he know he see afar off. He see what our natural eyes cannot see. Amen. He see the enemy don't lie the traps down for you. Some of you at home right now. Mm. Amen. That's watching this program right now. God been dealing with you and told you to get yourself up and find yourself back at that church. Doing what you're supposed to be doing. Amen. You didn't do it. Amen. You left the mess in your camp. Mm -hmm. So the enemy came in and he took something away from you. Uh huh. And you say, Well, what, what me? What happened? Why this happened to me? God said, No, I won't have no other God before me. Amen. He told us that. That's why I love him so much, Sister Barbara. He is not like humans that tell us, Oh, I ain't jealous. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to be who you want. You know how we do. Uh huh. 
You know we women, we tell our men, I ain't jealous, do what you want to do. I ain't jealous. Men tell our women, we ain't, I ain't jealous, honey, do what you want to do. But all the time be jealous. Yeah. God said, listen, I have no other God before me, for I am a jealous God. Yeah. Jealous God. That's why I'm in love with because he keep it real with me. Amen. 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 And we put other gods before God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. But I bet you won't confess this right here. Mm. I bet you won't confess, but I bet you I'm going to leave you with this. You're going to think about this. God said bring 10%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> most of the time, 10%. You know, most of us ain't wealthy, so we know when you're bringing in on millions and thousands. Uh -huh. So we, most of us is up on the $100 of our tithes we're bringing in, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Father, that's too much. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. But our false gods would get more than 10%. Yeah. Amen. More than 10%. Amen. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. More than 10%. But when the body is in pain, mm -hmm. when the mind can't rest, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. When it looks like everybody that said they love us turn our back on us, yeah. we go back to the 10% God. Amen. Oh, I hope somebody caught that. Amen. 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 We go back to the 10% God. Yeah. We're not saying God is worth 10%, but we're saying what he told us to do. Yeah. What happened to the 30% God? Uh -huh. The 50% God? Ooh, no. Some of us have got 100% God. Uh -huh. Do you run to them? Did you tell them to please heal my body? Mm -hmm. Please give me peace to pass all my understanding. Mm -hmm. Please make a way out of no way. God, I, I, I'm on this job. I need a promotion. God, I need you to help me with this promotion. Do we go to that 100%, 50% God mm -hmm. and ask them for that promotion? Mm -hmm. No, we don't because we know they're not going to do it. Amen. So what we do is we take advantage yes. Yes. of the God is the 10%. Yes. Amen. Amen. But you know what he said? It'll come a day. And I'm about ready to close up, y'all. It will come a day mm -hmm. that when you go to call on me, mm -hmm. this is not Pastor and Energy's word. Mm -hmm. Go in your word, you will see it. He said it was going to come a day when you go to call upon my name, I will turn my back on you. Mm -hmm. I will hear you, but I won't pass up. I don't know who bold enough to desire that kind of treatment. Mm -hmm. Not I. I want every time I call upon my Savior, Sister Fabricia, yes. I want to see his face. I want him to be right there saying, you know what, child? I'm going to answer this prayer in due season. I don't want to call upon God and he has turned his back on me and not answer my prayers. Yes. Yes. No. That's the trick of the enemy to get you away from up under the oracles of God. Because he knows once he got you away from God, he can do whatever he want to do to you. He know that he can destroy you. I'm telling you today, don't be like Akon, y'all. I don't care how good it look. I don't care how good it's shining. I don't care how yeah, it is made, maybe, no. If God said don't touch it, if God says it's not yours, if God says do not go through that door, please don't do it because you're going to destroy yourself. I preached a while back. Be careful what you're chasing. It just may be your destroyer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on and give God some praise.